Hello, welcome to the video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Forms. Uh, I'm using Forms within the Chrome browser on my Mac, so things may look slightly different. But one thing we're going to look at is the new timer feature that you can now add to a form. So sometimes you want to restrict the length of time the recipient has to complete the form. Now I'm just going to open the existing form. So to access the timer, you come up to the three dots, you go to settings, and then as you scroll down, you'll find that there are options for responses. You can see we've got a start date and an end date, but we've also got a set duration timer. So we can click that and we can enter the time that we want. Now I've only got two questions on this quiz. Um, so, and it will give you a countdown timer. So now we've added it, we can click the collect responses uh, and choose how we're gonna do this. So we, we can choose that only people within the organization can respond, or we can create a, an email, we can add an email address and, and send it that way. I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna open up a new tab. I'm gonna paste it and hit enter. And you can see it gives the user a notification that they're gonna be timed. Once you start, you can't pause the timer, so it's gonna be a countdown. So this is great for, for homework. If you want the students to have just a fixed period of time to do an activity for homework, this would be a great way to do it. So if we click on start, you can see you've got the countdown timer at the top. Uh, obviously, with two questions, I've got plenty of time to enter my responses. So I can put in some tools here. and I can work my way down there as I go. So I can keep adding stuff to my list and just keep filling it in. And it's quite nice because um, as students get to exams, preparing for exams, having that time feature would be a really useful way of just getting them used to the way of working. Now it'll give them a reminder they've got a minute left. I'm not sure I can carry on waffling for a minute, but you get the idea. Uh, it's there so they can click on it and see the bar as it goes. So I think it's a really great addition to Microsoft Forms, adding that timer, certainly for homework. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.